this. How come we have uh, 600 year old documents with the professor's handwriting on it? Pleading for help. I'll explain everything as soon as we get through security. ITC is constantly advancing itself in science. Sir? Thank you. 30 years ago, the business world was revolutionized with the advent of a machine that could instantly send documents anywhere Johnson, in the world sir. with the push of a button. Mr. Doniger's vision was to do the same with three-dimensional objects. What do you mean, like a fax or something? Exactly. Well, wait, 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 wait. He's trying to send Stern. actual objects from one place to another. That's correct. Follow me, please. <laughs> yeah, but that's also impossible. He would need a, a quantum Mr. computer or millions of processors. You're right. And we use them to build a machine that could actually fax three-dimensional objects. I'll explain these mirrors later. I know it sounds crazy, but it would have put FedEx and UPS out of business. Well, you actually made it work? Yes. That's got to be a Across trick. a room. But we wanted to Have send to. things across continents, not just across a room. So we built a bigger machine. This is the prototype. The prototype? So you mean that thing that we just passed? Exactly. It's the real thing. Yes. And we gave it a thousand times more power. We tried to send something from our lab here in New Mexico to a twin machine at a lab in New York City. Now, here's the interesting part. The package never arrived at its destination. A few hours later, it just suddenly showed up back here. Wait, wait a minute. So if, if it went missing between New Mexico and New York, where, <laughs> where did it go in the meantime? We asked the same question. We didn't know. So we sent out a camera over and over again. And we got back photos of the same location, a hillside with trees. And that's when Mr. Doniger made the brilliant decision to point the camera straight up. So once we cross-referenced star charts to the horizon, we realized that the camera was not only in the wrong place, but it was in the wrong time. So what does that mean? It means the camera was taking photographs of a wilderness near Castle Guard, France, in the year 1357. So wait, what you're saying is, is that you accidentally discovered time travel? No, Mr. Stern, we accidentally discovered a wormhole. A wormhole that seems to be locked to a single time and place in the past. 1357, Castle Guard. So what does that mean? You, you faxed my father's glasses and documents back to the 14th century?